Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I am asked all the time, how do I access my digital file on Etsy? How do I download it? Uh, if you are asking this question, do not worry, you are not alone. There are many, many other people out there having this uh, challenge also. So what I've done is I have gone and I have purchased an adorable gnome towel topper pattern by Nana's Crafty Home. It is so cute, perfect for the holidays. Uh, I do invite you to go over and check it out at Nana's Crafty Home. And we're going to download that together. So I've just purchased it. And uh, you can see here, this will look something like yours. Uh, I am signed in through Safari on my computer and I've just purchased it and you'll see this banner pop up here at the top. So the first thing you want to do is if you're going to download it right away here after you've purchased it, you want to make sure that your payment goes through. Uh, depending on your method of payment, it could take up to 24 hours. So do make sure that your payment has gone through before you go and try and download your digital item. Then once you do that in your Etsy account, you're going to see this banner. Now the second thing to note, and I cannot stress this enough, is you must be signed in to Etsy through your internet browser in order to view a digital file on Etsy and download it. So you have to sign into your Etsy account through Safari, through Chrome, whatever your uh, browser of choice is, you cannot do this through the app. If you are doing this on your mobile device, make sure that you do not automatically redirect to the Etsy app. This must be done through your internet browser. So once you have this little banner up here, you can go view downloads. I'm going to click on that and it's going to bring up your PDF uh, or a little window here with your PDF. So the first option is you can hit download right here in the corner. And as you'll see on my computer, it jumps up to the top of the screen there and then it will open up on your website. See, isn't that an adorable towel, towel topper? I can't wait. So that is the first way to download your item from Etsy. When you have this little banner, click view downloads. It'll open up a window. You can see your downloads here. Uh, she also includes the uh, spring gnome towel topper. You can decide um, if you've bought multiple PDFs, decide which one you want to download, click on it, it will pop up and you have your pattern there. That is the first way. The second way is you will have received an email. Now this email is from Etsy, from transaction at Etsy.com. It is not from the person you purchased the pattern from. It is from Etsy and it will be entitled something like download your Etsy purchase from and then give you the name and your order number. You will then see in the email that you can view your files on Etsy. Once again, uh, you need to make sure that when you view your files on Etsy that you are going to go into your browser. Do not redirect to the app. It's going to open up a new window and it says ready to download down here in the bottom. You have your receipt, you have your view downloads, click on your view downloads. It will once again open up that window and you can download your PDF. That is the second way that you can download your pattern. Again, make sure it is going to the browser 99% of the time. If you are having trouble, it's because it's trying to open up in the app. You just have to dis disable that option on your mobile device and make sure it's opening in Safari or Chrome. Finally, if you, for whatever reason, have, say, lost your email, you've 
um, been locked out of your email account, you've switched email accounts. Uh, there's many, many, many reasons why. So you just need to download the pattern again. When you sign into Etsy, you're going to see your welcome back. You're going to go up to your account up here in the top right corner. Click on your little profile symbol there. And the second one down says purchases and reviews. Click on your purchases and reviews. And you will see again in your internet browser through Safari or Chrome, you will see a list of all of your digital files, any um, finished products you may have ordered and whatnot. If you have purchased a digital file, as I have here, uh, you have the option to buy it again. Or over here on the right hand side, you have the option to download your files. If you are on a mobile device, you will see a little gray arrow over here where it says delivered. You'll see a little gray arrow. You're going to click on that little arrow. This little window is going to pop up. You're going to click on your download files. Your files will pop up again with the download symbol beside it. Click on the download symbol. And once again, you have been able to successfully download your PDF. I have shown you how to download the file if you are on a computer, on your laptop, desktop. Uh, I'm also going to take a moment to show you how to do that on your mobile device. So I'm here on my mobile device. Uh, once again, uh, you must sign into Etsy through your browser. So I'm going to click on my Safari here. Uh, you may be using Chrome, whatever. It must be through your browser. Do not use that Etsy app. You're going to sign in through your browser. Up in the top right-hand corner, you'll see your little profile picture. You're going to click on it. You're going to scroll down to your purchases and reviews, which is just below your profile name, and click on it. It will then open up a list of your purchases. I'm going to close that little notification. And there is my purchase with, from Nana's Crafty Home, my little gnome towel topper. You have an option to buy it again, help with this order. If you look over to the right, you'll see a little gray arrow. Uh, you're going to click on that little gray arrow over to the top right and you're going to get this little window that opens up at the top you'll see download files you can click on that download files and it is going to uh, come up once again just as it did on your desktop click on the file you want to download and it's going to open up there for you so that is how you uh, Download the pattern both on mobile. From here, you can save it uh, to your account, to your mobile device, and um, you're good to go. So that's all there is to downloading digital files on Etsy. Uh, if you've stuck with me, thank you very much. I hope that you find this video helpful, and uh, enjoy your crocheting. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye. <music>